and welcome back to my channel my name is Sitil you're watching Sitil MD in today's video we have another exciting DIY I am going to make a long maxi dress made out of jersey fabric now along this video I'm going to tell you a little bit about jersey fabric which makes jersey fabric a little bit more easy to sew where else a lot of us may be a little reserved with using jersey fabric because we feel it's too stretchy and you know it's just difficult to get get it sewing without having it puckering or kind of looking like a lettuce hem at the end of it if you're new to my channel then hi my name is Sitil I talk about productivity minimalism and I do some lifestyle videos here if you think it's something that you would like to see in the future and you'd like to follow me on my journey of self-discovery then definitely hit the subscribe button below and also hit the bell notification button so you get notified every time I post a new video now without wasting any more time let's get started with today's video Grab a t-shirt that fits you well, that you are happy with and we're going to copy the front and back bodies of the t-shirt by folding it in half and then just tracing around it. Start with the center front or center back at the fold or at the straight line and then copy around your t-shirt, draw straight lines around it and do leave a half half an inch of seam allowance all around now you could leave a quarter of an inch seam allowance if you like but i like to leave more just in case i needed more of a space label your t-shirt piece label the fold of it and cut it out and keep it so we can use it for any type of t-shirt or bodice piece that we're trying to make for mine i didn't really specify a length to it so i just squared the bottom and cut it because i can make it either a long dress or short dress or a t-shirt or whatever this is the fabric that i chose a really nice warm pink i think it suits my skin color really well pin your pattern piece to the fabric on the fold of the fabric of course right sides facing you or if you had a pattern to follow on your paper or on your fabric sorry follow that and the measurement that you will need to know is the length or the um, the distance from your shoulder to your hip and then your hip circumference the widest part of your hip circumference so mine was 38 inches I divided that by 4 and my hip was about 22 inches from my shoulder so I marked that and then once you mark your pattern piece on your body from your pattern that you have you have to draw a line straight from the top armhole to the widest part of your hip so that the dress can go over your hip area now you don't really have to add more inches to the hip area because this is a stretch fabric we are sewing with jersey so there will be enough gift and you don't need to leave extra you know seam allowance for extra room to say of course definitely leave a seam allowance otherwise it'll be just too fitted now i did so my i cut my dress according to the length that i wanted it and i left about 15 inches from the bottom where i did not sew the ends of it the two sides so that i could have like a bit of a slit For the back bodies, we're going to repeat the same process with the same pattern except remember that this is the back of the dress so we're going to make the armhole slightly smaller and we're going to make the neck slightly higher for the back of your dress right and then for the length just copy out the same exact length from your first piece the front piece and then just cut it out as simply as it looks. Cut one inch of strip of fabrics that we will use for the collar and the sleeves. Fold your strip of fabric in thirds. So one third fold in, then the other third fold over it and iron it so that it's easier for us to sew it later. Turn your fabrics right sides facing each other mine didn't really have a right or wrong side but if yours does make sure it's right side facing each other and then pin and sew at the shoulder seams mm -hmm. 
you could finish up the raw hem with a zigzag stitch like I'm doing here, run it over a serger or an overlocker or just leave it be because this is jersey fabric, it is not going to fray. Remember, before doing any sewing with jersey, remember that your needle has to be a needle that is suitable to sew jersey fabric. Now to sew the band onto the neckline, the strips that I um, cut out earlier, fold one end in so that it will be nicely hemmed when you're finished and pull the strip around the neck. Do not pull the neck itself but pull the band around the neck so that when you're done sewing, your neck sits nice around your neck and it's not um, sort of flared out for lack of a better word. Repeat the same process for the arms. You need to pull the strip around the arm hole or around the neck in order for the armhole of the neck to sit nice and round around your arms and your neck. And once you're done sewing the first, first row, the strip to the fabric, fold it twice on itself following the hem of the or the fold of the strip that you ironed out and then sew again on the same side. Remember when you're sewing the armhole or the neck hole, you have to sew with a zigzag stitch, not a straight stitch. If you sew your fabric with a straight stitch around the neck hole and around the arm hole, when you go to put your arms through the holes or your neck through the hole, it will break the stitches. You can sew jersey fabric with a straight stitch only on the side seams and the shoulder seams. Just to reiterate, we are repeating the same process for the arm hole as we did for the collar. Sew it once around at a quarter of an inch seam allowance and then fold it twice onto itself so that now the bias tape or the strip of fabric is inside on the wrong side of the dress and then sew that in with a zigzag stitch. So the first one was a zigzag stitch, the second one is zigzag stitch too. And then after we have finished sewing the armhole and the neck band, we can move on to sewing the sh um, side seams. Now, with, for the side seams, just pin your side seams together and sew it down with a straight stitch. Remember, for my dress, I left about 15 inch of a gap from the bottom of the dress because I wanted to leave a bit of a slit. You can choose to do it or choose not to do it. It's totally up to you. To finish off the hem so that my hem sits nice and you know just looking professional I folded the hem onto itself the excess um, the excess seam allowance onto itself and then I sewed that down with a straight stitch and I went all the way down till the end folded that part up like making another hem on that and then continued my stitch to the other side of the stitch where the other slit was and continued to sew all around almost like a very nice folding origami if it makes sense otherwise just watch this video it'll make a hell lot of sense when i reached either side of the slit i made sure to go over it with a straight stitch so that the slit does not slit open or tear open more than I want it to. And here's the finished result. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I love the length. This is very easy, breezy, and the dress was so easy to make. It took me two hours to make this dress because I had to film. But I think if I didn't have to film, I would have done it even sooner. Anyways, do let me know what you think of the dress and definitely leave a comment below. Hit the like button if you love this video and share it with your friends and family. Of course, if you would like to follow me, I would love for you to subscribe to me and um, hit the notification button so you get notified every time I post a video. I post a video twice a week. With that said guys, thank you so so much for watching. I wish you all a very good weekend and I will see you again shortly. Bye!